Hey guys, welcome to day's number four Gutenberg challenge. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create header. And in this video, when you're going to create header, you're going to understand the row and you're going to understand the header and how the menu works. So let's get started. So first of all, take a look at our design. We're not going to create the hero area here in this video, because if I want to explain each and every single part in depth, it will going to take huge time. So now for making this short, I'm going to explain the header part only and the hero area. It's your homework. You just complete these sections and share with me or our Facebook group. So basically, instead of sharing personally, you can share this in our Facebook group. I will share the Facebook group link in the video descriptions. So let's create our header here. First, if you take a look at here, there is a menu, then logo and then two buttons here. Now let's go back our WordPress. This is our WordPress. If you take a look at here. So this is our WordPress here and inside our WordPress, there are uh, no styles inside the header area. So to edit or style your header, you have to navigate to edit site or you can navigate to the dashboard and then go to the appearance and go to the editor. So please note that here I'm using the block editor FSC theme. If you're using classic theme, it will not going to work for your end. So you have to use block theme if you want to follow this tutorial. And I'm using the default 2025 WordPress theme. Now this is the header. If you just take a look at here, this is header and I'm going to click on edit header. And here, first of all, I'm going to remove or let's keep this one. Let's keep them or you can remove them. No worry. Let's remove all of them. So take a look at the design first. So for all of them, I'm going to take a row here or let's take a group first. And then add a row here or before adding row, let's add menu first. So we are going to add one by one so that you can understand. So select the navigation and by default, the menu will display all the pages, everything together inside your websites so in that situation you have to navigate to these three doors which is navigation area and create new menu from here so it will gonna create a fresh new menu we are gonna add them and if i click on plus icon you can add custom link you can add a page or you can add the menus here one by one now i'm going to add a custom link because there is no page called home about teacher here so what i'm going to do i'm going to create those are as a custom menu item to add a custom menu or custom link you have to click on this custom then add you can add a link here or just select here so from here just add just type a name here let's type here home and press enter from your keyboard that's it so as you can see, the link is a home and the text is home. So we can make it hash or just keep that home like the way that is displaying here. Now let's click another one. Click custom. You can click over here or you can start from here because we have one item here. Just click over here and type here about us. Hit enter and then click on this plus icon again. Type here services. Hit enter plus and type here blog. Hit enter. That's it. Very simple, straightforward menu. And now go back to our design. There is a, a logo here. Let's export the logo from here. Go to export and you can see it's uh, displaying a PNG. So I'm going to use uh, 2x and use the PNG as of now. And go to our header. So inside the group, just select the group and go to plus. Type here logo. So as you can see, it's called site logo. Select here and choose logo open media library and drag and drop our logo here inside the media library select and it's now displaying here perfectly you can adjust the logo size let's make it a little bit bigger or you can navigate to the exact logo size here it's displaying 140 pixel now let's go to the header and you can make it 140 pixel now here you can see there are three items menu logo and now we need additional item here which is a sign up button and sign in button now let's copy the text and go to our header select the group and click on the plus icon search here button and paste sign in and hit enter 
and sign up. So the two buttons has two different color. The sign up has a, a solid a blue color. Let's copy the color from here. And the sign in doesn't have any color. So now go to the sign in and remove the background color by clicking on this styles tab and select the transparent color or just okay. This is transparent color or you can simply just transparency add the transparency by reducing this item. And select here add the text color let's make it black and also reduce the padding so as you can see the menu doesn't have uh, sorry the button doesn't have any padding here now on the second button add a background color here okay I think I have copy our blue color this one it's quite similar paste here and reduce the border radius here if I select the button there is a padding border radius 10 so if i hit or press alt from my keyboard uh, you have to understand the figma how figma works so i'm, I'm just pressing alt and 10 10 10 uh, 14 14 or 15 15 left left so just on the left and right side you can see there is inconsistency 14 and 13 but we can make it 14 left and 14 right and top 10 and top uh, bottom 10 so let's make it padding a top bottom 10 and on the ribs and right side 15 and then the border radius should be 10 pixel that's it so as you can see we have added our menus we have added our site logo and we have added our button let's make them side by side so we just select all of them together and select row from here so basically how i select all of them i just select the first one press shift and we can select one by one or again i can select the first one and select the last one while pressing the shift key at the same time from keyboard and now click on this row and it's displaying side by side now when i select the row you can see there's an another options called align let's make it wide width first and now from justifications let's make it a space between that's it so as you can see this is very easy and straightforward process now let's select the group add some spacing at the top and bottom and on the left and right side there is a default spacing here now click save and go to our website reload the home page and this is our header so if you want you can make this one at the center as well so if you want to make it at the center you can use column here or you can use grid so it's completely up to you but i recommend you in that situation keep it row at this moment or you can uh, make it a column or grid but what i recommend i recommend to use for this kind of sections use column which is makes you a little bit easier to adjust things internally on left and right side and as of now if you take a look at here if i go to inspect and go to mobile view you can see here it's breaking here right and at, the, at some point it's displaying here the menu item so by default the gutenberg doesn't allow you to fix those breaking issues here and instead fixing them uh, from here internally because those are not available yet but i believe they will add some features in the future to fix those issues so right now we basically use a custom css and if you're interested to learn more about the custom css custom styles in gutenberg without uh, using third party uh, gutenberg page builder or plugin then please uh, comments below i will create some more videos about custom code and custom styles when using the default Gutenberg. And I forgot to share another thing here, how to add a drop down menu basically. So let me show you how you can add a drop down menu inside your menu area. So when I select any menu from here, if you take a look at here, there is a couple of options or tools over every single menu item when I select them. So there is a links options and there is another options called sub menu. So when I select the sub menu, I can simply add this is sub menu. Hit enter. 
literally i can add any kind of page here or any kind of custom menu uh, second menu so i'm gonna add custom menu as of now instead of using page post or anything third menu that's it click save and now reload the page so as you can see we have added our sub menu as well so that's all for today share your feedback and share your information and complete the design and share our facebook group thank you so much for watching this video